Well hello everybody, welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm making almond lemon uh, spoon cookies. So these are a very simple cookie, almost cake-like, and they have some ground almonds in, a little bit of almond extract and some lemon zest, and you simply take a spoon and scoop the batter onto the baking tray, um, shake them a little bit and bake them in the oven for 15 minutes and they're done. So this is actually a very simple recipe, quick and easy, and you can have these done within the hour. So I go straight on to the ingredients. And for the ingredients, I have uh, 250 grams, which is one and two thirds cups of plain flour. That's based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup. I have 50 gram, uh, grams, half a cup of ground almonds or almond flour. I have 180 grams, three quarters of a cup plus two and a half tablespoons of light brown sugar. I have one medium egg, which would be large in the USA. I have 50 grams, three and a half tablespoons of butter, which is softened. I have 100 milliliters of milk, which is six tablespoons plus two teaspoons. Then I have a pinch of salt, the zest from a lemon, uh, four grams, one teaspoon of baking powder and uh, two and a half millilitres, half a teaspoon of uh, almond extract. You can leave the almond extract out but I think it adds the flavour because the ground almonds give a nice texture but they don't have an immense almondy flavour when they're baked in cookies like that. And I should also say you could, if you wanted to, um, use lemon extract instead of almond extract if you just wanted a, a, a lemon cookie with the same uh, ingredients. So I'm going to start off by creaming my butter and my sugar together in a bowl and I'm going to use my hand mixer. You can do it by hand but it's easier for me with a hand mixer. And I'm going to cream those together until they're nicely combined. And I'm going to do this on a low speed to start with. And I should say I have my oven preheating at 180 Celsius, that's 350 Fahrenheit. So that's now mixed together quite nicely. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my egg into that and my almond extract and I'm going to whisk those together for a minute or so until uh, they've all come together nicely. So that's mixed in quite nicely. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip my baking powder and my salt and the lemon zest into my flour and I'm going to just mix those around with a whisk just to get those combined a little bit. And then I'm going to put in my ground almonds as well and mix those around. And I'm going to put that 
into my butter and egg mixture and sugar mixture and I'm going to mix those until they begin to come together And that's good enough like that and then the final thing to go in is the milk and I'm going to add that a little bit at a time with my whisk working all the while So um, that's mixed together quite nicely. And I'm just going to um, spoon that then onto a baking tray. And I've lined a baking tray or two baking trays with uh, parchment paper. And what I want to do is to take um, a dessert spoon, about that amount, and I want to put that onto the parchment paper and try to shape it into a round and that weighs about 38 grams so these uh, are on the baking uh, tray and I wet a finger and just shape them a little bit to make them rounder uh, and they're going to spread quite a bit so I've left quite a gap between them I just hope they don't join up but I've, I'm only going to bake four or five to a sheet and so I'm going to put them into the oven and bake them for 15 minutes and then after 15 minutes I'll take them out of the oven and put them onto a wire rack to cool down while I bake the remainder and then I'll come back and show you the result. I baked the almond lemon cookies for 15 minutes and they baked quite nicely. I took them out of the oven, left them for a couple of minutes on the tray and then transferred them to a wire rack while I baked the others. Um, and this is what they look like. And I got 18 out of mine. 37 grams is, is about the, the weight you need, but it doesn't matter. You can just a heap dessert spoon will probably do it do it for you um, and so they're nice and cakey inside as you can see and they're soft and slightly firm around the edge but they're soft so I'll have a taste of this one I'll just have a small taste And I do get uh, the flavour of lemon from that zest and the slight hint of the almond flavour as well. Very, very nice. And I have discovered that these are actually very good uh, for dipping in my tea. You could dip them in milk, of course. You could also... If you wanted to, take two of them and fill them with some jam or some um, Nutella or something like that if you wanted to. I like them just as they are like that. So that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
In the top right hand corner of the screen there would be an eye that you can click on and that would take you to a link for the recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well. And I'll be back with another recipe in a very near future. So until then, happy baking.